his turn. Oh, he just went down. He just went down. Here he comes. This week on Carolina All Out. That was great. <laughs> that movement's all they needed, and they ran. Look at that. There is the Halifax bird. Long beards and the real deal. This is Carolina All Out. This week, the all-out crew is headed to Greene County to chase turkeys with Wayne Bullock, inventor and founder of the Real Deal decoy system. The Carolina all-out crew is no stranger to the Real Deal. Back in the very first season, the crew used the system to take a fine time, with Chris almost not connecting at all. Look at here, look at here, what a bird. Later in the show, we'll head to Halifax County to hunt another place you might recognize, Carolina Woods and Water's massive 15,000 acre hunting area, where Chris also took another nice tom in the first season. Pal Kemp, owner at Carolina Woods and Waters, told Chris that there are two toms living in a backfield who had seven or more hens with them daily and had several hunters make attempts at taking them but couldn't close the deal. Challenge accepted. We got the decoys out. Perfect little place here where if a bird comes down from the road, they can see the decoys from there. If a bird comes from out of the field, they can see them there. So we've got a lot of viewing area for these decoys. So we're gonna get tucked in and do a little calling, maybe move the uh, real deal around and see what we come up with. Gonna be good, gonna be good. Turkeys coming coming from the right, from the right. I see him. Another one coming out. Oh, that's a gobbler. That's a gobbler. Well, yeah, and he's kind of coming up this way. Yeah, look at the head, yeah. Don't move. Yeah, it's a long beard. Yeah, they're running. Another one, another one. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Just stay still, they're running. Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Agri-Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. And by Browning Trail Cameras. Faster, smaller, better. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Becky Skiba and I work for the Wildlife Resources Commission as the Southeastern Regional Education Specialist. And we're out here today to talk about snakes. We have 37 different native species of snakes in North Carolina alone, six of which are venomous. We have the cottonmouth, also called a water moccasin, and you'll find those around really wet areas, especially swampy areas, uh, low-lying areas that collect water during rainfall events. They are called cottonmouths because when they open their mouth and they gape, they have this really white cottony color in the back but usually you have to really aggravate them before they'll show that. And then we also have copperheads, one of the most common. Uh, it'll be around your house. They could be in more suburban areas as far as if you're hunting on game lands and things. They're very prevalent in there. They hide really well in wire grass and leaves in any kind of uh, brush that's on the, on the ground. And uh, sometimes we actually see them on oak trees. So definitely check trees and things where you're putting your stand, especially before you lay a hand down. I've seen them blend in perfectly uh, in the ridges of the bark of an oak tree going after cicadas and other things and they like to hang around the, the roots to find what they can eat for insects. If you'd like to learn more about snakes in North Carolina, go to our website ncwildlife.org backslash reptiles. Chris and Wayne are in Greene County and are pinned down as three longbeards close in quickly on their position. Coming, coming from the right, from the right. I see him. Well, yeah, and he's kind of coming up this way. Yeah, look at the head, yeah. Don't move. Yeah, that's a long beard. Another one, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Just stay still, they're running. Three up. Strutter, but I can't get around you. The wrong side of you. Way <laughs> they came in exactly the way you said they would come in. Yeah. And I was facing the wrong way anyway. Well, that's where it goes sometimes. <laughs> I'm in a cramp right now. <laughs> I wanted to shoot that strutter. He got just on the wrong side of the camera. I couldn't swing around and I didn't want to swing around into Josh and shoot right there at him. I mean, they were all right there on top they, of I mean, one another. I mean, it, it worked just like perfectly. We just, they stayed bunched up in a bunch and I didn't want to shoot into the middle of them. It'd have been nice if you could have killed three at one time, but, <laughs> but that's you know, illegal. Like here in North Carolina, you can't kill but one bird. Yeah, one bird a day, so. Oh man, it was perfect. Oh yeah. It was perfect. That's the way it goes sometimes, huh? If the one would have stepped out any further, it'd have been easy. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was just a little tight. But anyway, hey. We'll keep trying. Yeah, that's all we can do, right? We came close. Yep. Real deal. That's it. Called them in. <laughs> <laughs> that movement's all they needed, and they ran. That was great. Such a close call but there's still a few hours left before shooting light ends. And Wayne and Chris slip over to another part of the farm to see if a big Tom Wayne has had a history with is still around. With no luck, and as the sun sets behind this bird, the boys head 65 miles to the north to Halifax County 
in the Carolina Woods and Waters Camp to try their hand at a couple of wary birds that have evaded other hunters since the beginning of the season. Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. After a sleepless night at the Carolina Woods and Water Camp, Chris and Wayne are in the blind near a large cutover and happen to have a straight line view of the roost tree where a big tom is just waking up from a long night's rest.
Don't go away. There's more Carolina All Out coming up. Carolina All Out is brought to you by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Go hunt, go fish, go wild. Agri-Supply, more than just a farm store. Carolina Cooker Cast Iron Cookware, a tradition born in the South. Montgomery Community College, educating since 1967. Farms and Land Realty, selling land is what we do. And by the Dixie Deer Classic, the South's premier sportsman event. Don't go away, there's more Carolina All Out coming up. Hey everybody, welcome back to Appetite for the Outdoors and I'm Chef Chad McIntyre. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of side dish action out here in the outdoor kitchen. We've got a recipe that comes from the central part of North Carolina and it's a grilled cabbage. It takes about four hours to cook, so we're going to go ahead and get this on the grill right now. First you're going to start, you're going to cut three cuts both across the cabbage. So we've got the cabbage set in the foil and as a little helper we've got a little small bowl that everything sit in. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take some butter. We've got about a half a stick of butter cut into some pats. We're gonna kinda press it in here. So we're gonna go ahead and season it with some salt and pepper. And also a little bit of red chili flake. Then we're gonna take about half of a light beer and kind of pour it in. This is gonna act as like a braising stock. We're gonna take about six pieces of bacon and kind of lay it across, almost like a lattice on top of the cabbage. So we've got our Carolina Cooker Kamado Grill preheated up to about 275, 300. We're gonna go ahead and set this in the middle. We've got the heat deflector set on here too to kind of help get a nice even heat. And this needs to cook for about four to four and a half hours. Oh, it smells fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and carefully take this off. Great side dish right here. It goes with ribs, goes with burgers, goes with anything. And as always, it's great to take wild game in the field, but it's even better to incorporate it into a dish. Looks like they're gonna, the hens are gonna come, Wayne. Looks like they're gonna come. We'll go ahead and get ready. I know it. He's not paying a bit of attention to us, is he? <laughs> Wayne, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the real deal. 
keeping that movement all day. That all movement morning. all morning long. I mean, I think we got their attention maybe within the first 20 minutes because they got up high enough where they could see down here. But once they got inside a comfort zone, here they come. Yeah, they come. And they were not playing. They were coming to whoop up on them. <laughs> Two hours, I think, we watched those birds. Every bit of it. That is crazy. And look at there. Man. Good show. They did. They put on a great show. And that real deal, that was the thing that did it for us. No doubt it kept their interest there. Look at here. Huh. I'm going to hand you my gun, Wayne. It's unloaded. Look at, look at that. Look at that beard. Look at that. That's what got him. I, I know he was not the dominant bird. I do know that. But it didn't matter. That rope is what really set my attention. And there is a Halifax bird brought to you by the real deal, Wayne. <laughs> I appreciate that. Now, I've got to give some credit to this. Is, we're hunting with Carolina Woods and Water. We've been here before. You guys might remember our first season, we killed probably the biggest bird I've ever killed with Carolina Woods and Water, and it probably isn't a half a mile from here. But looky here. This is what a late spring turkey hunt is all about. Those birds, we're not going to leave those hens. But when you showed them the real deal, they saw it. I think it was a mental note right there. It's like, oh, we'll be back down there to check on that Jake down there with those hens. So if you want to go turkey hunting in Halifax County, give Carolina Woods and Water a call. Number's at the bottom of the screen. Scooter Lily and Powell Kemp have been doing a phenomenal job for years up here with a lot of satisfied clients and they can dial you in on the deer and turkey, which they've done right here today. And of course, it made it all the sweeter being with my best bud Wayne right here and the real deal working it. He worked it like a charm. We took this nice bird over it. Thank you, Wayne. If you want to know more about the real deal decoy system, check out the number and the website at the bottom of the screen. I'm Chris Douglas with Carolina All Out and remember, our state is your next adventure. Awesome. Daisy. <laughs> <laughs>